Hello guys, welcome back to Lantasia. It is a late one tonight. We're doing a little bit of a different video today. We are going bug catching. So there's some new bugs in July, specifically the beetles I'm going to concentrate on today. I have a top tip on how to catch them more often. So what you're going to need is a Nookmail ticket and some of your tools and head to a Nookmail tour. So let's get on with it. I've already caught some of the new bugs that have come in in July and I thought there must be an easier way to get a better spawn rate on the beetles specifically. So I thought I'll try and test something up myself and it actually worked really really well. So I'm just going to go through the process with you guys and show you how I did it. There's loads of ways that you could probably do this but this is probably the best one to do and it literally didn't take me that long either. Um, it's also a really good way to make money, so I'll show you what we do, alright? <laughs> okay so the first thing you are going to do is um well first of all I'll check what island you're on i don't think it really matters like can you already see in the background on the palm tree we've already got our first bug so i'm just gonna catch this and see what it is so with obviously because they're new i don't really know how quick you should go and approach them so i'm going to be testing that out as i'm catching them today so we've got a new one uh, Horned Atlas, fantastic, that's brilliant. So already we're on to a good start. I haven't even done anything yet and we've already seen one. So that's really, oh, there we go. And we've got another one. So already on the um, Nook My Toe on the islands, there, because it's a smaller ground, obviously the spawn rate is a little bit different than your island because it's a lot bigger in scale. So they'll probably spawn a lot more regularly in this like close proximity. That's great. So the first thing I'm going to do is shake the trees to make sure I don't get stung by any wasps. There we go. Um, on a mystery island there is only one wasp's nest that spawn. So typically that's the first thing I do is get my net out and catch. There we go, look we've got a bug. I don't think I'm going to be able to get there without scaring it. But I'm going to try. I don't know if I can walk past it. Let's see. No, okay. There we go. So... <laughs> That's the first tree that I'm going to get rid of. It's going to be a nightmare trying to get the bugs from there without scaring it off. So I'm chopping that down straight away. Um, so I'm pretty much going to do this with all the trees on the higher levels. Just because it kind of saves me exactly like that. So it saves me having to try and get onto where they are without scaring off the bug. And also it saves me a lot of time having to go up and down all the time. I will have to go up and down eventually as you know bugs will spawn there regardless of the different types of bugs but i'm just taking away the chance of them spawning on the trees so that's why i chop all of these trees down can't get through so i'll just dig that up out of the way and let's see so the as well what i'll be doing is i will be picking all of the flowers this stops um the oh i can't remember the the man face beetle bug that from spawning so you take away the the like petals then you take away that chance of them spawning there um yeah we can keep the weeds the weeds you know we don't really need to pick them up they can they're fine as they are just take away the flower heads like so and then we can just dump them on the beach it's not important to bring home unless you want to bring them home obviously then you know you can it's important as well to hit all of your rocks as um the centipedes and i think there's another little bug i can't remember what it's called they spawn in them as well so just you know bang them for their resources if you want to keep them and then eat some fruit and destroy them so that's what i'm just going to do now So I'm just eating all the fruit, ready to hit them and destroy them, like so, ta-da. And as well, if there are any of the, the stone on the floor, I've 
It's only happened once before, so I don't know whether I'm moving my memory's mixing it up, but, but I did actually hit one of the ones that had fallen from the actual rock itself, and from the stone came a centipede, so I just pick everything up now just in case. So again, just getting rid of all the flower heads, and I'm going to destroy this rock. Like so. And again, there's one over here. Get rid of this one. Like that. Take away these. That. Oh, that's not a flower. Scared away a bug. <laughs> right, so I'm going to take away this one here just because as you're coming around the corner it'll be hard to know see if there's a bug on there already. So I just take away that so then it limits my um, kind of the chance of me scaring anything away before I actually notice it. So what I'm also going to do as well, I should have done up there, is dig up all the stumps because you can get bugs that start storm spawn on. S oh, we've got one there. Here we go bugs that spawn on stumps. I'm just going to catch this bug right now. There we go, we've got another one. Horned Dynastid. Fantastic. So already we're seeing quite a few. Uh, we've got one, two, three. Three already so far. I think I've learned this. Oh, I'm sadly, I think I'm going to have to drop that. <laughs> right, let's just go up here and get rid of the stumps. And then we are pretty much done with, oh, with destroying everything. And then what I've done is left two of the normal trees and left all the palm trees. Because the palm trees is what they seem to tend to spawn on a lot. And also the normal trees as well. Um, but it's easier to just limit that as it kind of makes them spawn a little bit more in like on the palm trees and things like that then. So we just go down. So I think there was one here. I'm just gonna, same again, I'm going to get rid of this one as well. Same for the other one that was at the front, just so I don't scare away any of the bugs. And just dig up that stem, like so. Oh, I can see a bug up there. I think it's a purple one. I think I've already caught this one. It's a dung beetle of some sort. Just so you guys can see. There we are. Earth boring dung beetle. <laughs> and then we'll just get rid of this one. Oh, I don't think I have any fruit left. I'll double check now once I've done this. Have a look. None left. Alright, I'll just cross over and grab these. And then destroy that. Don't think I've missed any, but I'll pick them all up just in case. And take these as well. And that should be everything now. We are ready to rock and roll. Just get rid of this. Fantastic, all done. So that's the basically everything that you want to take away and destroy. And then from now on you just pretty much run around and catch some bugs. Um it's oh get these as well. It's important to double check your like rock areas up here because they do spawn as well and they'll kind of li um limit your spawn rate if they're still there. Because sometimes two come and more and more and more, so yeah. So I'm just going to drop these from my inventory because I don't need them and don't want them to take up space. Um, you can keep them if you want, but like I don't have a need for them, so I'm like glad I'm dropping as well. And then we got, there we go. We got another bug on the on the palm tree. So it's pretty much as easy as that. Um, but yeah, you just see what spawns and go ahead and catch them. So what's this? Oh, another new one. A saw stag. There we go. 
So we've already had two new ones. Uh, bear in mind that I have been catching some of my eyelid as well. But if you had hadn't, you would have had, I think, four new ones by now. So we've got another one here. I'll do this one. Oh, my brother's online. <laughs> oh, there we go, another one. A giant stag. There we go. So that's three new ones. Yay! <laughs> There we go. Oh, we've got two more to catch. This is what I mean. This is why it's so perfect um, to catch the beetles on the trees on this on these islands because they seem to spawn at a much quicker rate just because it's so much smaller. What have we got here? the shell that's great oh and we've got a broken net oh. it's disappeared so I'm just gonna put this in my favorites to make it a bit easier like this. oh no oh, wow it's not what I wanted to do but okay try again Now then, now let's hold it. Okay, back to it. <laughs> so nothing over here. Oh, missed one. So that's what I mean about the taking away all those is because that's... Oh, we've got Atlas Math, okay. There we go, that's great for money coming in there. <laughs> Might even come across some scorpions, but I hope we don't because I don't like them. Although they're not as, as bad the tarantulas although actually I don't know I think I'm more scared of the scorpion than the oh I don't know neither of them are pleasant let's just fit that way there we got a horn dying is dead again fabulous so this is the side of it which would be good for the making bells and things oops um so obviously some of these are going to be more expensive than others so what you would do same thing i guess um in regards to how people did it for the tarantula farming and scorpion farming is you'd catch all the you know cheap bugs and then you let them go and then you'd kind of replace them for the more expensive bugs um so that's how you would make bells on this so instead of just pick, getting everything and that just leaving with that you would pick and choose what you'd want to keep and what you'd want to go because i know some of them like are a thousand bells and then some of them range to like ten thousand to twelve thousand bells so it's a really good way to make some bells so that's great news for everyone <laughs> and it doesn't take half as long as it does for like tarantulas and spiders because if you look i haven't seen a tarantula yet but i've seen like a bajillion of the of the bugs so i'm just gonna catch this mosquito just so it spawns something else um but yeah so i still haven't seen a scorpion so in that time that i would have caught one scorpion on this island i've caught like a bajillion of those other bugs so this is why i think this is a really good way to make money make some bells Oh, rainbow stag there we go that is one of the more expensive ones i'll have to double check how much they are because i don't remember <laughs> uh, miami stag so we're pretty much stacking up all the bugs yes yes we oh we got another one over here what is this one what have we got a rainbow stag another one so this is fantastic so we're pretty much 15 minutes in um and we've caught a lot of bugs <laughs> so this is a great 
this is a great great way to catch any of the beetles that you want to get in a quicker process i saw a stag fantastic just remember don't sell anything you need to donate always donate first <laughs> oh my god this is big whoa ah oh, another giant stag fantastic yes and we've got another one over here so i'm pretty much getting beetle after beetle after beetle so this is a fantastic way of doing it guys like i highly recommend it it's not boring because you're always doing something you're always trying to catch something else so because i know when you're kind of trying to get tarantulas or scorpions it's a really tedious thing and you are waiting and waiting and hoping you'll come across but with obviously with the beetles it's continuously one after the other so it's a really good way to kind of keep you stimulated and enjoy yourself whilst making some of your bills. Sounds like I said bills, but I said bells. <laughs> Whoops, a daisy did not mean to do that. What have we got here? Fantastic. A Miami stag. Brilliant. I'm just gonna look up here. Oh, we got a mosquito. Oh my gosh, maybe I caught it. <laughs> I'm gonna let the mosquitoes go once I run out of space and then keep bug farming, I guess. Is like, oh, hello, little guy. Caught you. Your walking leaf. <laughs> oh, another bug. So they are literally constantly one after the other. This is brilliant. Oh, whoops. Oopsie days. Whoopsie do. Let's see. Got one up here. What is this? Got another hard dinosaur. Fantastic. Oh, we got. Oh, we got another Atlas mouth. Fantastic. We is making the money today. Fantastic. Oh, I can hear another mosquito. Where is it? Oh my gosh. Oh my god. <laughs> god, that was embarrassing. I caught it though, so, you know. And I saw the look up here. I'm gonna scare that off, because I know that doesn't. Oh, wait, is that a scorpion? I think it is. Let's have a look. Okay, how the heck do I. Oh crap. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. All that time I hadn't seen one and the minute I see one it gets me. This is why I don't like scorpion farming and why I don't do it. It takes too long to find them and then they always make you pass out. So I'm just gonna get rid of all the ones I don't want. That's all the mosquitoes and stuff and I'm gonna catch these bugs. I've got one here and one up at the top. Got ya. Fantastic, Hone down is dead. Got ya. What have we got up here? Is it the same? It could be. It could very well be. It is another horned dynastid. I'm not very good at accents, I apologise for that. <laughs> what else have we got? Oh, nothing. Nothing. Oh, our first. Oh. I was going to say, well, first nothing, but never mind, there was one. A walking loof. Ha <laughs> ha. Alright, what else have we got? So I don't think we're that far off from filling our inventory. No, we're not. So we've got two spaces. And get rid of that one as well. So now we have two spaces even. <laughs> oh, low battery. Let me just find my charger and pop that in. I know I can hear you. There we go, I got that in. Alright, let's go find some more beetles. Beetles, baby. 
Where's my bills, baby? Alright, there's none here, so I'm going to assume that we've got some hiding up here. Possibly. Yes, we had one there. Mm, any up here? And nope. Oh, maybe I got there. They are. They are the culprits. You naughty, naughty boys. There we go. Get our net out. Catch our final two. There we go. We got one. Our final one is out here. I can't remember. Maybe I just locked. So. Yeah, that's all of them. So we have a full inventory of bugs. So I'm just going to work out how much everything is and go from there. So a saw stag is worth 2000 bells and we've got a fair few of them. So that is good. If I was purely doing this to make money, I probably would leave them. A horned atlas is 8000 bells. And a Miami stag is 1,000 bells. So again, I would probably leave that one as well and swap it out for a more expensive one. Um, so we got a few of them though, so that's a good way to make money. And a giant stag is 10,000 bells, so that's a nice big one. Um, so I'd probably concentrate on catching definitely one of those. Um, so yeah, um, my Amnesty stag I've done, Rainbow Stag is 6,000 bells, so that's another one of the big ones, not the most expensive, but not too bad. Um, I think we've got one or two of them. Yeah, so we've got a couple of those, not too bad. So we're going to make some sort of bells from this experiment that we have been doing. Um, so we've got giant stag, mammoth stag, horn dynasted, atlas moth. Horn dynasted is 1350 bells. So, yeah, and then the dung beetle is. Oh, a measly 300 bells. So that is definitely one to avoid. Just catch it to hand it in and go from there. But yeah, that's pretty much all of the ones I've caught. Um, obviously if I stayed a bit longer I'd catch way more and if I was a bit more picky I'd, be, I'd probably have a little bit more um, range of them but yeah so if you want to catch some beetles come and do it on a mystery island tour and um, if you've liked this one guys please please give it a comment a like and subscribe and I will definitely see you again in the next one bye